Home Practice Starter Kit Number 1, Supta Parangustasana Series. Change legs, so now extend your right leg out, bring your left knee in. Now, Supta Parangustasana proper. So use the belt, place it on your heel and bring the leg to 90 degrees. You see if I bring it up here, it's just an arm pose. So I make it into a leg pose by bringing the leg to 90 degrees. Straighten both legs completely. And then change legs. Bring your left leg up. Again, bringing the leg to 90 degrees with the belt on the heel so you can access the bones and the grounding of the hips and lower back. Good, then change legs again. We're going to go out to the side. So make sure you have room out to the side. And you can also place the belt now onto the ball of the foot, but notice that I'm pressing the ball of the foot up, so I'm not pulling the toes down, but reaching with the heel and the ball of the foot. I take both ends of the belt in the same arm as the leg that is up, and keeping the leg straight, I take the leg out to the side. When I bring the leg out to the side, this opposite hip stays on the floor. I can drop my elbow under the floor and pull the leg back into the socket. would also be fine to use some support for your leg, especially if you're having any sort of lower back problems. You're not going to get any extra points for bringing the leg way up over your head and bending both the legs. And look at this leg has come way up off the floor. So better to keep both legs straight and your hips grounded. And you'll see when I bring the leg out to this side, I bend the elbow and place it down. For many of us, the lower leg will turn much more quickly than the upper leg. You see how my foot is turning? So keep the leg in alignment. Now, what pose comes next? It's up to you, but I'm feeling downward facing dog. This concludes home practice starting kit number one.